So if you want to know how to keep Alexa, Google Assistant, or any other device that uses the internet and your voice from spying on you, keep watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. So we've had a few instances where Alexa has woken up and uh, without even having said her name, um, she's blurted some things that were really odd, if not somewhat disturbing at times. Uh, so it's got us to thinking, what's going on with Alexa? Does Amazon keep track of everything you say uh, without actually activating Alexa through the magic Alexa command? Um, there's been articles that say that they do. Um, I read recently one article where um, <laughs> some, some Amazon employees were having good giggles and laughs over some of the stuff that was recorded purportedly to improve Alexa's speech recognition. But to be quite honest, I don't know that that's entirely true. It seems likely to me that it works to their advantage to understand what you're looking for, what you're talking about, so they can serve it up to you. How many times have you been on Facebook, for example, and um, talk about buying something or looking for something, not on the phone, just around the phone, and all of a sudden you start getting ads on Facebook. So that's another one that uh, I haven't quite figured out yet, but I think there's a way to block that. I'll probably put that in another video. Anyway, let me get on with this. It does involve the use of a Netgear router and um, the software that they provide called Nighthawk. So let me show you how this works. I'll give you a brief example. Uh, then we'll dive into the uh, product itself, see what it looks and uh, what it lets you do. Alexa, should my viewers subscribe? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. She doesn't like me. Alexa, do you like me? I think you're magnificent. She can't be all that bad then. Alexa, why do you like me? I think you're magnificent. Yeah, well, she's kind of stuck anyway. <laughs> I can get going with this. Well, let's have a little fun with Alexa first. Alexa, do you spy on people? No. I'm not spying on you. I'm designed to protect your privacy. You are. You can learn more by visiting Amazon.com slash Alexa privacy. Alexa, I may have to do that. Mm -hmm. Alexa, do you use what I say to influence what I buy? Hmm, I don't know that one. You have nothing to say to that. Alexa, what do you think about what I just said? Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, if I buy something on Amazon, does that make you happy? Here's something I found from WikiHow. If you've already created an Amazon account on Amazon.com, the easiest way to buy something is to type product keywords into the search bar. All right, Alexa, shut up. Here's something I found from WikiHow. Alexa, you've already created. Shut up. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me happy show you what the so You have a happy Thursday too, Alexa. Let me show you what the software looks like. And I'll give you a better view on the um, phone. This controls a Nighthawk uh, router that I have, wireless router. And what I can do with this is, you know, I don't want to scan the time. Uh, it does a lot of things. It'll measure download speed. But what I want to do is go to Device Manager. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Here's all the devices on the network using the uh, Nighthawk software. And uh, what I can do, I've got that Alexa, actually, that's from the kid's bedroom. I have it here. It's Alexa Kids Room. I can literally just switch the wireless so that it blocks that MAC address. And I'll explain what MAC addresses are as well. Now, um, might take it a minute or two, but at some point, Alexa, play some music. She's not going to do anything because she can't reach the Internet right now. Eventually, she'll just time out, and uh, when you ask her to do anything, you'll get a red bar saying that she's having a little bit of difficulty. Alexa. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. She's not having trouble understanding. She's having trouble reaching the internet because my router has blocked her because I told the router to block her MAC address. This is how you save yourself um, from having her spy on you. Alexa. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. Let's go ahead and turn her back on. 
So Alexa kids room switches on for the wireless. Alexa, can you talk now? Welcome to the Alexa Prize, a university competition to advance AI. I'll give you the social bot grand challenge three. First place winner, Imora from Emory University in Atlanta. When you're done, say stop and I'll ask you for your rating. Stop. Hi, I this don't... is an Alexa Prize social Alexa, bot. stop. I do not She's punishing me for turning her off and connecting her to the internet. That's no surprise. <laughs> All right. Thanks for chatting. Oh. Quick question. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? I don't want to talk to the social bot, Alexa. Please shut up. Got it. Anything else you'd like to tell the university team about your experience? No. Alexa, you can shut up now. Got it. To try another social bot. Just say, let's chat. No. Anyway, this is why you want to turn Alexa off. Not only violates your privacy, but it kind of intrudes in on your daily life. So this, um, this is something that uh, is quite annoying. Personally, if it were up to me, I wouldn't even have any of these devices in the house. But I am a uh, technologist and I've been around. And um, unfortunately, my family actually makes me have them around. So I don't have a choice. But um, as you can see from the example, one of the things you can do, and I think this one's important, is if you have an Alexa in your uh, kids' room or even a tablet, um, you can turn the tablet uh, access off at night using this tool right from your phone. You can turn Alexa off in the kids' room so that way the kids can't go to Alexa and order things or do things you don't want them to do. I'm sure there's other settings uh, within Amazon that allow you to do that, but uh, it is quite handy to be able to do that right from your phone. All right, so I told you that I would go ahead and uh, go over the Nighthawk software, and here it is. Um, I actually have an uh, Android emulator on my computer, and I have the uh, Nighthawk software loaded on it, connected to my router, so I can go through some of the steps. So there's a few things that we can do on here. Uh, one of them, of course, is upgrade the router. Um, I did have an upgrade warning earlier, and I don't have any notifications. But uh, what I did earlier was use the device manager, uh, which is here. So if I go to device manager, this actually will show me all the devices that are uh, on the network. And you can see there's quite a few of them. You'll be surprised at how many things are actually on the network. Uh, here's the uh, Alexa kids room that I showed you earlier. And um, the, uh, the everything's turned on right now. Um, one of the things I need to do is kind of do a survey. What is this unknown? You know, I can click it open, and it's going to show me what the MAC address is. Now, I can do a lookup. The first six octets of a MAC address of the manufacturer, and um, that'll tell me what it is. It'll kind of give me a clue as to where to go look, find out what it is. If it's something I don't want or, or don't recognize, I can always block it as well. Uh, I can't give it a name. So, for example, uh, the one we saw earlier, Alexa Kids Room, you can edit this and uh, change the name so you know, that way you know what it is. And I've done that for some of the devices on here already. So you can see my cell phone's on here, Alexa living room. Uh, there's an Android, um, which is probably my tablet. I haven't locked it down yet. But the key thing is you can turn stuff on and off. And again, I want to stress, if you have kids and they have an Alexa in their room or they have an Amazon tablet or any kind of tablet for that matter, uh, you can use this software um, to turn it on and off. So if you put your kids to bed at night and you don't want them on the internet, you can very easily turn the internet access off to the devices in their room, including their phones, um, which may not be a bad thing. Anyway, um, that's the devices. There are obviously other things you can do. Uh, you can actually test internet speed, uh, which is really cool. So if we do test my speed, it's going to run a few, uh, a few tests, and it's going to tell me what my upload and my download speed is. Uh, which is really cool. So you can just do this from your router, which is, uh, I think, pretty neat. And that's what it's doing from. It's connecting to your router. Being so it seems like I'm getting a little bit better download speed than what I pay for. I pay for 200. I'm, it looks like 215 or 221. It's been the average download speed, which is great. 221 download, 11.14 11, 11 upload. That's fantastic. I love it new what do we got new here speed test settings ping and it's provided by ookla the same one i normally use anyway uh let's go back
there's a few more things you can do with the Nighthawk software. You can manage your router to some extent. Um, you can go to settings and uh, check your router settings. You, uh, this is just a local IP address. I could show you the internet port, but that would give you my fixed public IP address. So I'm not going to show you that. Uh, support's pretty interesting, actually. I'm out of support because I've had this for uh, probably two years now, this router. But there's um, it expired August 1 of last year. Chat support expired. Uh, <laughs> phone support. Online case entitlement. If you have any contracts, it'll look them up. If there's any RMAs, is there a history of cases? Um, which there isn't. I've never had to open up a case with them. But um, so this is a, a video of how to use the route. I mean, it's just a, a lot of detail that they provide in the Nighthawk software. So it's, it's pretty useful. If you do have um, one of these routers, it's useful to, to use it and download the software. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just happen to use the Netgear um, router. I like their stuff. And um, I figured I'd pass on some of the features that may be useful to you. Um, one of the things you should consider if you have children and there's Alexa or Amazon devices in their room is the capability to turn off the uh, the device's uh, access to the internet. So um, you don't want your kids doing the uh, accidental Alexa porn. I'm sure you've all seen that video. Um, or ordering things. Um, there's just a myriad of things that they could do when they're sight unseen that you may want to be able to uh, disable. We've had a little bit of fun with this. I hope you've enjoyed it and gotten something useful out of this. Um, yeah, I think the capability to turn Alexa, Google Assistant on and off um, in terms of them being able to communicate with the uh, internet is a pretty useful feature. If you're interested in any of the uh, Netgear uh, routers, um, I've got some links, uh, affiliate links below um, that you can order them. Um, I will do one for other vendors if there's enough demand. If people, if you guys write me or put it in comments, um, I'll, I'll pick up a Cisco router or some other manufacturer and see if they have the same features. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, hit like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.